Nyadal got bell grease for her one-year-old son, Rial. She buried him on Thursday. Rial had been sickly since he was an infant. When he got measles recently, it weakened his immune system so much he could not fight a pneumonia attack. She only has her daughter now. He was my only son. I have no husband, and I thought he would be the one to one day get us out of here. And now he's gone. At the Kakuma refugee camp in northern Kenya, sick children have to be quarantined inside this tent in the camp hospital. The outbreak of measles has been worsened by the flow of refugees from South Sudan fleeing from the conflict back home. When you're dealing with um, a situation where you're having many people coming into a camp, um, one of the biggest public health concerns is a measles outbreak. I think the important thing is that we are identifying the measles cases and we are responding to that. Dwarf and both Kwang, two-year-old twins, were admitted two weeks ago. Their mother noticed the symptoms. They got feverish. I started getting red. They got a rush and they were very weak. So now every child under 15 years in the camp is being targeted in an emergency vaccination that began on Wednesday. 50,000 children in all. It's an exercise that's going to extend beyond the boundaries of the camp to the Kenyan community hosting it and again right to the border with South Sudan where the refugees are coming from. These refugees here at the border have been medically screened and vaccinated against polio and measles, but they're not clear yet. They have to be screened for a second time when they get to the camp, monitored and vaccinated again. Containing the spread of the disease is the number one priority, but humanitarian organizations working on this admit that it's an uphill task. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Nadapal, Northern Kenya.